It's the 16th of November, time is flying. Today has been a really hard day. I was just like, took a day off. I was just like, what am I even doing? You know, the whole morning I just gazed up into the sky, to be honest, and realized it's me wanting to do just something different. Yeah, that's what I realized. And I'm just gonna keep doing it because it's quite, it's quite enjoyable. I quite enjoy it. Jeepers Creepers has started up fast. <laughs> I bought the flight ticket the other day to the Philippines. I always wanted to do that one. And basically just more packing. It's a really weird job. Only five workers for this line. It doesn't really feel like a job, but I need to pack myself because when I go abroad, I want to be, be a little media station. That is Titan 2. So I need to get ready. A lot of packing. I'm basically recycling money from old gear I have. I literally just sold my ice cream machine. It's like one of those commercial boxes. It's Robocop. Serious catering equipment. Always. Fighting. But I got 300 quid back for it. The trick to sell on eBay is put slightly above the price you're looking for. You'll get an offer about 20% less than you hoped for. And this way, the buyer always thinks he gets a bargain. So he's extra happy and then he's more compliant and he pays quicker. And he leaves a happy customer less likely to complain. This time next year we'll be millionaires. <laughs> well, we could have been, Rodney. I mean, I paid 330, so I put it up online for 366. The guy offered me 300. I didn't even haggle, because from past experience, you basically want to just cement a quick sale. You know what killed off eels on wheels, don't you? Because I don't want to be hanging around, because my dad's going to just chuck everything away soon. <laughs> hey, you little <laughs> Uh, on me, is it? <laughs> and we're going to make some amazing ice cream today, like with whatever I can find really lying around. Oh, what those cookies? I <laughs> know. So I sold my, my ice cream machine, so I need to pack that. The point is, I'm basically recycling loads of money, so that money's gonna go into my next drone. I was hoping to get a new Mavic Pro, like which kind of just opens up like a spider, but I've been literally on eBay every day, but I can't get one. I can't get my hands on one because I'm flying out in under two weeks. And by the time it's going to come here, it's going to be for Christmas. So I'm just plan D, H, whatever. And I've just bought today a DJI Pro. So that's two up from the DJI standard. And um, so I'm going to just quickly run through the difference because even I didn't know what the difference was. Just way more spec for only a tiny bit more. You want a strong signal because if it cuts out, all hell happens. I've had to make sense of it for myself, but 1080p was the original resolution. 2.7k is that much more and 4k right to the boundary here is effectively four times the resolution of 1080p. So four 1080p images in one 4k. So that's quite good. And in case I don't do something random, I just want to quickly show you what I found. I think I just found a keyring. A letter P. My brother's called Patrick. It could be a lucky omen. So I might be so kind to give it to him, but I'm going to have to do it via my mum because he's very camera shy. <laughs> La Patrica, what do you think? Nice. Should I give it to him or should you? No, I'll give it to him. Okay, thanks. Oh, and look at my t-shirt. I wanted to wear my uh, engineering, changing the world. To be honest, I think you could probably change the world more through media than anything else. But that's where the camera stuff, the techie stuff comes in. So it's kind of like an engineer, just renegade. Um, an update is basically my dad broke my camera stand, he literally tore the head off. It was by accident, he's quite a big guy. I mean, I glued it back on because I had no choice because I needed to record stuff. But then I got a replacement. I paid 22 pounds as opposed to 10 pounds. I thought I'd be getting something more. Sounds like a gun, doesn't it? Considering I was paying that, look at that. They have nice foam on this. Here, they have no sexy foam, but they have a handle, right? This broke off, by the way, it's so cheap. I mean, I didn't even try to break it. Oh. I forgot one more thing. I want to show you what really peed me off. 
Like this is ten pound connector where you literally just okay. This is how you connect this to your camera stand. This is to the cheaper one, the ten pound one. You see that pin? You can take that off easily. The pin you can move it up and down really easily. You can grab it, put your finger in it, easy. This is the twenty-three pound one. I don't know who designed it. They just put the price up for mugs. Really, it's not better quality. I thought it was. But if you look at this one, this is the expensive one. This ring isn't so easy to grab. Sometimes it's not as quick to get your finger in there and grab it. See, it's taking a few seconds. And when I'm shooting, I'm always taking this off and on. So it's really annoying not to be able to do that really freely and quickly. Rant off. Feel so much better. I have to pack all of this away now. Originally the seller on eBay, he was like, I will refund three pounds off the 23 pounds you paid for it. I'm like, mate, I'm getting every penny back. I'll show you my ice cream machine. What's all this junk? It's really stupid to put your finger in that. Hey, that's quite fun. You get freezing action and whipping action. And to say bye to this machine, we're gonna make ice cream, all of us guys together. Because I'm really craving something bad. One liter works best, and that takes about 25 minutes. So we're gonna quickly whip it up. We're gonna get, we're gonna get some cashew milk and some dates. I'm so creative, that's my best combination. Okay, but my tip is with dates, you see all those pips? I'd need about 10, 15 at least for this jug. So it's just faster to use date paste. Mmm. Never made cashew ice cream. Drum roll, please. Dates have just like a lot of chocolatey kind of caramel toffee notes. Mm. You still got some tiny, tiny date bits, like fudge. It's about 600 ml. We're just gonna pour it in. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. I'm shouting because of that machine. Look at what they buy in the house. Sponge cake and potassium lechka. Potassium lechka is really Polish. It's milk curd with loads of sugar and chocolate over it. Not enough fruit. It's like war, it's in my face every day. I mean, do you have this problem? The environment one surrounds themselves in has huge influence. I'm so sorry watching me eat. Um, it definitely passed the taste test. First I thought I could make like a vegan ice cream brand. There's a brand called Weihei. It's got protein, powder in the ice cream and I looked at the case study they literally just bought a professional ice cream machine and the rest was history then I realized the market was really saturated so then I ended up just making fresh ice cream in my uni cafe like every day No more cashew milk. The last cashew milk was a lot thicker than this coconut milk is. It depends on the brand and everything. I almost got the spoon stuck in there. That could have been a tricky moment. Dangerous moment more like. Mm, sorry, can't be here. No, honestly, you should do this. The taste test. That's more than good enough. Mm. After the first batch is out, this goes in. It's actually really tasty. Now, the cashew peanut honey ice cream. Looking for cardboard to pack the ice cream machine in. Mum, 
Do we have cardboard? I, I sold it. Ice cream machine? Yes. Good, because nobody needs it. No, no one. Where are you like? 300. Good. I'm making the last ice cream, it's delicious. Cream, but you need a little bit of ice cream for yourself. Do you know how expensive the vegan ice cream is in the shops? Five pounds a tub. Take a cardboard. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? This box will... God, it's in the way. This box will do, right? I'm looking for masking tape, Dad. I don't know. The ice cream itself was great, but putting the sunflower seeds in was a moment of genius. Really, honestly, try it at home. I'm gonna put like my rough recipe down below. Taste until you got it right. I have a big appetite. Turns out bad food in large quantities is bad, so I might as well eat something which is good in large quantities. I think I've got a paper cut. <laughs> Now I'm just waiting for the buyer to just pay on PayPal and off it goes.